Hello friends, this video on molecular basis of inheritance part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now you might be interested to understand the detailed process of transcription. But before that, it is very important to understand the different types of RNA because just now you saw that I was using the term mRNA and you are not sure what it is. So before we get into the detailed process of transcription step by step, it is better to talk about the various types of RNA, their functions and roles. So there are three major types of RNA, messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA and they are all abbreviated as mRNA, rRNA and tRNA. So these are the three types of RNA. So now let us look at the role of each of these RNA. So if you talk about mRNA, it provides the template for protein synthesis. So the RNA which gets created as a part of uh, in the, during the process of uh, the transcription, that RNA is the messenger RNA. The word messenger means something which carries uh, an information from one part to another, which something which carries a message from one part to another. So this messenger RNA acts as the link between the DNA and the protein. So it actually carries the message which is the genetic information stored in DNA and carries this mes message to the proteins and that is how it synthesizes proteins. So that is why it is called messenger RNA. Next is the tRNA which is the transfer RNA. Transfer means to uh, transfer something from one place to another or to carry something from one place to another. So these RNA they carry amino acids to be joined together to form the polypeptides. Now when we say protein synthesis, so how will proteins be synthesized? How What are proteins made up of? They are made up of amino acids. So if I say that RNA helps in synthesizing proteins, that means RNA actually brings a lot of amino acids and they join all the amino acid with peptide bond and that is how proteins are formed. So polypeptides are nothing but they, they give rise to proteins. So transfer RNA will carry the amino acids which needs to be joined together to form proteins. So that is its job. So mRNA will carry the message from DNA that is the genetic information. It will bring that message and so it will decide what would be the sequence of the amino acid. But tRNA it will bring the amino acids or it will carry the amino acids so that they can be joined together to form the polypeptides. And the third one is the rRNA or the ribosomal RNA. So this is important during translation. That means when the actual process of protein synthesis take place. So both of them will just bring in the raw material. Messenger RNA will bring in the uh, sequence from DNA. tRNA will bring in the amino acids. But where exactly the process of translation takes place? That is where exactly protein synthesis take place? There the role is performed by ribosomal RNA because protein synthesis takes place in ribosomes and these RNA are present in the ribosomes. Now when you talk about ribosomes, ribosomes has two major uh, subunits. So here you can see this, this is the ribosome. So this is the smaller unit of ribosome, this dark green structure which you see here and this is the larger subunit of ribosome, the light green structure which is here. So that is how ribosome is um, located and on these ribosomes you have the rRNA and where is the tRNA? So this is the rRNA and where is the t mRNA is this one which brings about the sequence. This, is, this mRNA is being created as a part of transcription and tRNA is this one which is going to carry the amino acid so that the amino acids can be sequenced together to form the proteins. So the larger subunit of the uh, ribosome, that is this unit, it acts as an enzyme, ribozyme, which catalyzes the peptide bond formation. So the bond formation between the amino acids. So you see tRNA is bringing the amino acids here to the larger subunit of ribosomes. And on this larger subunit, if you see, each of the tRNA is carrying an amino acid and a bond formation takes place between all the amino acid and this is how a protein is being formed. So in this bond formation, this bond formation takes place in the larger subunit of ribosome and the enzyme ribozyme helps to catalyze the reaction of peptide bond formation. 
So these are the three types of RNA. So once you've got this brief idea about the three RNA, that is mRNA, tRNA, rRNA, it, it will become easier for you to understand further the process of transcription as well as translation. So uh, rRNA is a part of ribosome, so it is the RNA component of ribosome and hence it is called ribosomal RNA. It acts as a catalyst during peptide bond formation and it takes place in the larger subunit of ribosomes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.